Finally, a non-gray day here in New York City. And look at me, it's James Sweeney. Not at the NYSC, but the Brooklyn studio. And can you believe that it's already Wednesday? Well, guess what, guys? Grab yourself a drink because, well, because I already have. Labels can't be shown. And it's after 4 o'clock, the markets are closed. And that's right, it's happy hour in the Big Apple. Now, U.S. stocks, they rose Wednesday afternoon after the release of the FOMC minutes and as the markets recovered from Tuesday's sell-off on Europe's worries. Now, today's minutes show that the Fed cut their growth outlook due to the higher dollar and amid growing concerns over global weakness. That's right, the market rallying today on worries over the economy. Why? Well, because a weak market means no future interest rate hikes. Well, not exactly more of a delay in the interest rate hike because it's got to happen sometime soon, right? Now you team that with low oil prices and a stronger U.S. dollar and you have yourself the following session where for every three stocks that advanced, there was one decliner over at the New York Stock Exchange. Now let's take a look to see how the markets closed out the session halfway through the week. And on the corporate front, investors, well, they're currently awaiting earnings from Alcoa due out any minute. And JCPenney, that fell more than 5% today on its long-term financial outlook. Sears, meanwhile, plunging down more than 14% on reports that three insurance firms for its suppliers were reducing or cutting coverage. And lastly, Apple gaining, get this, on an official announcement of a special event on October 16th, the suspense. That's if you even really care about it. So, well, there you have it. Have yourself a great day. Grab yourself a drink, kick back, relax, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow morning. By the way, it's beautiful here in New York City, so don't stay indoors, trust me. And I'll see you all in the morning. For ModernWallStreet.com, I'm James Swinney.